Contribute, contribute, contribute to someone's life is not only when you contribute money to the person's life. It's not only when you give the person cash. Yes, you can be a blessing to someone's life even without giving that person cash. How can you do that? How will you be able to put a smile on someone's life without even giving the person money if you don't have? But if you have, that's a good thing. But what if you don't have? Does it mean that you will not be a part of putting a smile on someone's life? You should. Watch this video to the end. I will tell you how you can practically contribute to someone's life, to the community, to the society, to somebody around you, even when you don't have money. Beautiful people, permit me to introduce myself. I am Debbie Good News. Your humble lady, always there to inspire and to put a smile on your face, just as you put a smile on my face. One of the secrets to happiness is helping other people. Helping other people is a super happiness on its own. It brings this super vibe happiness. It makes you feel fulfilled. We're going to be discussing how you and i can impart in people's life even when we didn't give them cash i mean without cash if you have that's a good thing but if you don't have whether you have or you don't have how do we how can we in our day-to-day -day life once in a while people around us how can we contribute to their life how can we contribute to making their life more meaningful or helping them? Watch this video to the end. I will encourage you to please be patient. Watch this video to the end. We have something very good we want to talk about. And I believe and I reassure you that this video is the one you want to stay and watch to the end before you move on. How do you feel? when you give someone a helping hand? How do you feel when you realize that you just help somebody and the person is happy or you have just solved somebody's problem? How do you feel? Happy, fulfilled, right? Happiness comes when you give. No wonder God says that there is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. I've experienced that personally. And I know you have. If you haven't, you are missing something. And I want you to try it. One of the ways you can help someone without cash is to be a good friend. Who is a good friend? A good friend is a friend in need. That is what makes you and I a friend indeed. Being a good friend is not only when you give someone money to go start business, to rent a house, or to pay off the person's bill. No. Or when you go for shopping and um, shop a lot of things for the person. That is not all there is to be a good friend. What if you don't have access to any of those? So does it mean you will not be a good friend to somebody or you are not worthy of being a good friend to somebody? No, you are making a mistake. That's not true. You can be a good friend without money because people believe everything these days is money. Everything still remains not money. There are things we can achieve that are silver and gold without money. One of those things is being a good friend to somebody. How do you become a good friend to somebody? You can honestly share somebody's burden, sad feelings, sad moments, genuinely, and offer good advice to someone at the point of need. If so many things are going wrong these days, people are dying in silence. 
people are dying without having the opportunity to share their ill feelings and their emotional problems with someone because they don't trust anybody because it's hard to trust people these days when you trust your problem with somebody the person is going to uh, tell it to someone or their own best friend their friend best friend will tell their best friend before you know it your problem becomes a public news they will start mocking you they will start making just of you so you rather die in silence than to share it when you and i are there we can be a good friend when we have the habit of listening to someone in need sharing a good thought with that person offering an advice you might be the right person the person need at the time it might be that you know a neighbor a brother a friend a friend to a friend that can help to solve that person's problem that can connect the person to the person's end of problem but if the person is not able to share this problem with you it won't happen but you have to make yourself available at any time to be a good friend to someone to listen and when you hear please try to keep the person's private life secret with you it's hard to do right but you can do it because it's not all your affair that you are able to let out. There are a lot of your affair, your personal matters that nobody knows about. Can you try to keep somebody's affair like that, treasure and private? That is what makes you a good friend. People are suffering these days silently. I want to tell, say it again. People need, a lot of people out there needs a good friend to share their problems. It's very important. That might be what someone need at a time to survive. To have someone that care about them. Someone that picks up phone and say, hey, how are you? Are you okay? Are you doing okay? Are you happy? Do you want to um, hang out? Do you want to visit me? Do you want to uh, whatever? Just to know that someone out there cares about how I feel, it can restrict the person to keep moving on. If you don't have much to give, you can offer a genuine loving advice. That might be what the person need at a time i want to tell you one experience i had today i went to a store to shop some grocery i was actually thinking of um things that i need and things that i don't want to buy right now so um i was just contemplating on my head um, what to do about it do I pick a card or just go pick a few things and leave you know when you're thinking or trying to like put some things together in your head there's this facial seriousness on your face there's this lady that saw me moving around on my head and she saw that I'm I'm just too serious she, she could walk up to me she said beautiful lady Put a smile on that face. Put a, no, stop, stop. You got to put a smile on that face. I just burst into laugh. And then she was happy that I was able to smile. And whatever I was thinking at the time, stopped. I was just happy. And I left that store with all happiness. I told her, you were darling. Thanks for being a good soul. I am happy and I want to be happy. Thank you for reminding me to always put a smile on my face. She said, you're more than beautiful, more, you're beautiful more than that. Always put a smile on your face, okay? No matter what, just stop it. You gotta always smile. That 
made me happy for the rest of that day. I want to tell you another story. Um, there was this man that should be a um, few years back. He was driving me in um, Uber. So I have this habit of asking people, how are you? Are you doing okay? It's just my norm. So when I get into the man's uh, car, I said, good afternoon, sir. Are you, uh, how are you? I said, good afternoon, sir. How are you? Are you doing okay? The man turned back and looked at me. He didn't say nothing. I wanted to ask him, like replied or ask him something. If he really heard me, just to find out that he heard me. So before I could even move to act like say something, the man looked at me again. He said, thank you, ma'am. No one have ever asked me, how are you doing? I said, why? But that's a good thing. People are supposed to always ask, you know, greet people to um, at least. It's good to do. They say people don't care about anybody these days. But having someone who asks me, how are you? How are you doing today? That that word alone meant a lot for him. You know what was going on with this man? He opened a conversation throughout that ride. He was, it was an, an opportunity for him to have someone to ease out with. Things happened. The man's wife left him with his kids and for another man. And that day was a horrible day for the man. The woman called him mm -hmm. to ask him a very horrible question. The wife called him to ask, the wife called him to ask him a very horrible question that ruined his entire day. So he's been grieving. Uh, forget about the fact that he he is actually stuck with his kids he was a, a manager of the company he was working for but because of schedules and with these kids he can no longer cope that he was sacked so he now do uber to cope with the kids uh, according to the kids schedule to make sure he get back to home back home so it's been a tough time for the man and the man don't have people to share his problems with and nobody cares. The people around him don't really care. Everybody is busy. Nobody cares about what anybody is doing. There are a lot of people like that. This man don't need money. He only needs a genuine good friend around. That when he is in a bad mood, he can have someone to share and tell the truth. How it is, what it is. And the person can genuinely offer a piece of advice. That will help this man last longer and have a happier life. If you are people like that, if you have somebody like that around you, I mean, would you want to be a good friend to somebody? You never know who you needed to be a good friend to. But you can't tell. That is why we just need to adopt this natural life of being a good person. We live in a world where everybody is busy, nobody care for each other, and people don't like to care for others. But little did we know that there are people that if we had cared for them, or had asked how are you doing we would have saved something in their life they would have had the opportunity to share what they wanted to do and for us to know that they were about to make a mistake and we would have offered an advice that would have brought the person back from making that mistake how would you feel that someone fell into a big temptation 
into a big serious problem either that have destroyed the person's life or that kills the person or that pulled the person down only if you had knew that that was going on in that person's life you would have let the person know exactly what i know now that would have helped that person but how would the person have known that you would have been there that you knew what would have helped the person that you would have been willing to offer an advice they won't know except you reach out and when you reach out, do it genuinely. One of the reasons why people keep the, to themselves these days is to avoid their matter to be outside. Try to be a friend that people, somebody that people can confide in. It gives you this personal respect. It makes people trust you. And it gives you personal protection. Someone, anybody that talks about others, even when nobody is asking them, can talk about me too, even when nobody asks about, them, asks about that. So please try to keep it down. Work on it so that people around us can trust us. And when they do, you want to keep that trust firm. Reach out, please. Be a good friend to somebody. Always volunteer yourself to be used to answer somebody's prayer. We all go home. We are in our house. We are asking God for one favor or the other. God uses you and I to answer someone's prayer. But if you're not available, you may not be used. But do you know it's a very good thing for you and I if we are used to answer somebody's prayer? You know, it brings a great blessing to you yourself, to your own prayers, to whatever you wish. Someone else will be used to, to answer your prayers. So why don't you prepare yourself down and be ready to always be a thank God because of you. I've had a good experience of this. I will tell you those stories on another video. We a friend saved my life. It was he she wasn't a friend at the time but she made herself to be an extra ma friend and not just a friend a part of my life a part of my family life because she made herself available at the time to be there for someone who needed it at the time even when i didn't ask for it but that act of kindness helped her to be used to save my life and my situation at the time, which she and I remain thankful to the date. Do you want to be that kind of friend to somebody? You can save somebody's life with that. You can contribute in somebody's life with this. You can give someone's advice. You can give someone advice tomorrow that will save his or her marriage. An advice you give someone today can save the person's marriage, can save the person's home. You did it. You may not even know. So what we want to check what we say to people around us at every given minute. Because some people do not want to share what they are going through with you. But that little two minutes conversation that you had with he or she, he or she may have extracted a very good vital point that he or she had been looking for that he didn't think about. It might be an advice that, oh, I've never thought about this in this way. 
and they will run straight off home or straight off to that problem to go solve it. You never know. There are people who have serious problems and they want to just end it now. They no longer see reason to continue suffering or to continue with this struggle. What you say at this one minute or two minutes conversation could be helping the person to see reason to end it now. You contributed to it too, to end in somebody's life. That is the reason why I feel that we want to be careful. Be careful with what we say to somebody be careful with what you say to someone to ruin the person's life. Be careful with what you say so we don't destroy somebody's future. We want to also be careful with what we say so that we can use those things we say to improve somebody's life, to save somebody's life, to save somebody's situation. That is why we want to be always, always be careful and be ready to help someone rather than to pull down. So many people engage with some conversations that they think is okay for them. And the person by them is listening. You don't know what the person is thinking at the time. You might be helping that person with that discussion to make it a wrong decision. And when the person do it, you may not realize that it was your discussion with him or her that helped to fuel and generate a good decision for him or her to go make that wrong decision. We might also be discussing with someone the same way that we might have a one minute or two minute discussion that will help the person to make a firm decision of what he or she is thinking at the time to save the person's life. So we want to be always prepared to improve someone's life, to give out good vibes rather than negative vibes. We might engage in discussions about somebody. We may not even know that this is gossip and that five minutes or two minutes discussion will destroy the person. We block the person's way. We destroy the person's connection. And we don't know that we caused it. We want to be careful with what we say. We how we say it. Because whatever we do goes around and it might still come back to us. So we want to make sure that the one coming back to us should be the good one, not the bad one. Yeah. Friends, I will only encourage you and I to raise somebody's self-esteem higher and not pull it down. Hey, you look beautiful. Congratulations. You did this way done. Hey, you are doing great. Those have a lot of things to do in someone's mind. It helps to raise the person's self-esteem. It helps to make the person know that he or she is relevant and that they can do more. They might, that might be what they need at the time to keep moving. Let's use our tongue to move forward and uplift and not use our tongue to pull down. You can help someone to help themselves. How may you do this? Refera. If someone is in need, think of someone you know. If you know already, don't hesitate to give a referral. Don't hesitate to refer that person to where they can get the help they need. You didn't give cash, but you have to change the person's situation. You didn't help the person do it physically, but you help the person to achieve to a success. You can help someone by teaching them what they don't know how to go about it. It could be practical things, it could be anything, but depending on the situation, if you have idea of it, don't withhold it. Teach them 
that might be that little but big thing for them that have been holding them back but when you teach them how to do it they can go on doing it by themselves and bettering their life with that who did it you you have to help the person's situation and you may be helping to save the person's life or situation and bringing more happiness to the person you have contributed in the person's life positively there's so many ways going on and on to talk think about it but the bottom line is that we want to prepare our mind to be good to people around us be good to people you see think of how you can impart in their life positive impact not negative impact think of how they can live on and always remember things you used to say to them how it helped you things you do, used to do for them how it helped them you want to create a lasting positive impact in someone's life if you don't have to know the person people around you try to create a positive impact in their life not negative impact and when you give don't try to take back people are so selfish in their giving if I do any good thing for you today, the person feel indebted. The person will always pay back. And tomorrow, like, ah, what I did for them. If not that I did this, those are not good gifts. And God don't pay those things back because you're already trying to get your reward back. So please, we want to be a good soul an angel to people around us a blessing to people around us try your best as little as you can let's continue to impact positively in people's life contributing to their happiness being a good friend you can do your best materially physically emotionally inspirationally uh, um, however you want to do it but you want to contribute to your quarter you want to be part of someone's life positively be a part of pushing up inspiration be a part of uplifting and not a part of pulling down there is more joy in contributing to somebody's happiness build that establish that you can do this practically every day do your best guys friends until next time we talk again I remain your humble girl, baby. Good news. Please remember to like my video, share, comment. We talk again. Thank you.